Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Now, William Ruto, as the president of Kenya, he has committed uh, our Kenya police officers to Haiti. Haiti is demanding for more, and of course Ruto is under pressure to deploy more police officers to that country. So, yesterday, Ruto had a press briefing together with the U.S. President, Joe Biden, in his state visit to the United States of America. And therefore, journalists had a chance to ask questions they had on both presidents, Joe Biden, William Samuel Ruto. So, the citizen TV journalist, Ayub Abd Kadir, asked a very important question in this press conference. That, what is your your political goal in deploying Kenya police officers to Haiti miles far away from Africa continent when schools in Baringo, Turukana, West Pokot and elsewhere are unable to open simply because bandits have taken control. They have attacked these areas. So where is your commitment? And what is your, your political goal in all this? You are trying to extinguish fire in the neighborhood when there is also fire on your own house. Where is your priority? That was the question. Now, if you listen to William Ruto responding to the question, you know, he's biting his lip, then, uh, you know, gather the courage now to respond back to this. Of course, Ruto was exposed in as much he tried so much to defend himself. Listen to Ibu Kadir and the response from William Ruto. Follow up to my president, Dr. Ruto. Um, you said that uh, Kenya is committed and uh, in your uh, Carter speech in Atlanta you said it's based on humanitarianism helping Haiti out. But can you explain the geopolitical goal 12,000 kilometers away from Nairobi when schools in the counties of Baringo, West Pokot, and Turkana have not yet opened because of the banditry problem, yet you are committing our national police force to Haiti, and where is the priority? Is this being one of your major manifesto pillars, talking about security, and to the extent that even the Defense Cabinet Secretary talked about the deployment of, if need be, the Kenyan military or the special personnel to make sure that schools are open, children go to school in areas that are bandit prone in Kenya. Why are you committing to Haiti when we have a problem back home? <coughs> Is it an irony that you are putting the fire in the faraway neighbor's home when, you are, we are, when our own home is on fire? Thank you very much. I made a commitment to the people of Kenya to sort out insecurity in the North Rift. I have followed that with action. As we talk, there are 3,000 military officers in the North Rift, 2,000 police officers in the North Rift. We have renovated the first 15 schools and completed. We have reopened 20 schools already that were closed in the North Rift, and that exercise is ongoing. We have made tremendous progress in making sure that we create security at home, but that does not take away our responsibility. Even as we were deploying troops and policemen in our own country, in North Rift, to sort out the banditry problem, we still deployed a thousand, trip, uh, a thousand group, uh, troops to DRC Congo, because that is our neighborhood. We have 5,000 troops in Somalia, because equally that is our responsibility. And Haiti should not be an exception. That's why deploying a thousand security men to Haiti speaks to the same belief and commitment to peace and security. Now, we are continuing this final discussion, but just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, of course, Ayub Kadir is right. 
if you go to the areas he mentioned, there is security instability. The same way you enjoy going to school or doing your business, you know, your daily activities, is not the same way what is happening in Baringo. We saw an MCA being killed. We saw a chief resigning because of fear of his own life. People are crying. You go to Turukana, you go to West Pokot. It is a problem. But as we are having this problem, and by the way, even bandits at one point were reported, eh, you know, storming a hospital and eh, rescuing one of their member eh, team. There was police officers guarding the hospital. Doctors were stranded. And, eh, you know, bandits just attacked the hospital. And they left with eh, the person that police officers were guarding there. It happened in Kenya. So, a question that Ruto, at the end of the day, avoided answering. What is your geopolitical goal in this? At least we can understand when you are deploying our police officers to Somalia. In Somalia, we are directly affected by all this. They even intrude up to Kenya. So, when you deploy a huge number of, of you know, our troops in Somalia, it is understandable. The geopolitics, the economic effect, they are our neighbor. We need them, they need us. Very urgently. We share so many things in terms of we have Kenya and Somalia origin, we have the other. So these people are same people. We are only divided eh, by the colonizers. So, in that way, it is understandable when you are deploying. But, Haiti, not even in Africa, too much far. What is your geopolitical goal? Definitely, it proves or confirms that William Samuel Ruto is a puppet of the West. It is U.S. that has interest in eh, Haiti uh, issue, the guns. So, because of Joe Biden request to William Samerut, that's why he was able to deploy police officers to Haiti. Who is funding them? U.S. offered. Then we have other uh, countries, the Western countries who are now offering money. But the question is, do we have the capacity to deal with the Haiti gangs? Even the U.S. themselves, they have been defeated. So, are our own brothers and sisters being set up for killing in Haiti? Of course, another possibility. One of the team members who are on the way to Haiti, some just died in an unexplainable circumstance. We just lost like that. So now the team has already been deployed. Definitely in terms of geopolitics, there is nothing there. It is another country's interest, not Kenyan interest, Therefore, William Ruto is working on behalf of another person. And uh, the question was right, because we had the U.S. president there. The perception is that definitely Ruto is working on behalf or as per the request of Joe Biden. Like in the hapa. There's nothing we are benefiting in the entire issue. Nothing. We are not superpower. You look at the kind of you know equipment we have. We cannot manage that war. Unless if there is someone funding elsewhere. So 
In all this, it painted William Ruto in bad faith that you have problem back at home. But you are uh, you are opting to sort out a mess far away, not even your neighbor, so far away. Too many miles away. And this was an international press briefing whereby you have all the international media houses around there. So that means the world is listening to you. That's the coverage. So as they listen to you, definitely you come out as a president who does not care about his own people and his own country. That you neglect your own people at expense of policing other individuals elsewhere. So are you a puppet of the West? Were you put there in office by some individuals to work for them? And is that exactly what you are doing? Definitely, that is what many people are going to conclude from this. First of all, before you sort out mess in Haiti, sort out the mess in West Pokot. Make sure that the chiefs are not resigning in Baringo. Make sure that the MCS in Turkana are not killed. Make sure that the people in these regions are safe. But as long as there is no safety for them, you cannot tell us that you are sorting mess elsewhere when you fail to, to fix the problem in your own country. So Ruto was exactly actually embarrassed in all this. In as much as trying to compare that, oh, we are deploying in Congo, we are deploying in Somali, so there's no problem deploying elsewhere. The issue is that in Somalia and elsewhere, we are affected directly. Here it, Habana, 